Hi, my name is Ryan and in this tutorial I'm going to be te teaching you the basics of CSS and HTML. Um, we're going to make it a bit more advanced from the last tutorial we've done, but for this part we're only going to be doing about the CSS. So let's just start off the page like you normally would, HTML head title, let's call it my HTML page. Now let's just end the title, and before we end the head, we have to do CSS. So type style space type equals parentheses text equals C no text slash CSS parentheses and then close that. That's telling the page that what's gonna come now is CSS, telling it what to look like. So if we just go down one type body and do one of these curly sort of brackets and go down and I'd say it's about seven spaces in from the side, so just press spacebar seven times and type font colon 100% slash 1.4, which gives it a nice look. Verdana is the next bit, then comma, then Arial. The next bit, the next bit is Helvetica, and a Helvetica. Ticker, sorry. Then the last one is sans serif. Then put a semicolon to tell the page that that's the end. And again, seven spaces. Background. Let's go with, I don't know, 4E5869. See what that looks like. Then margin. We don't want a margin in this, so we'll just put zero. Again with the padding, we don't want a padding, so we'll just put zero. And colour, we don't want a colour, so we'll just put hash zero zero zero. And that should be that bit done. That's just for the body. But now we need to do um like link stuff. So if we go down a page and type ul colon um comma ol comma DL. Not much to do here. Padding zero. Margin zero. And that's it for the link. So now we just go to H1, H2, H3, H4. H5, H6, and P, which is like the main text, main text for the thing. So if we just do seven, now this isn't just margin; it's margin dash top, which is zero. Then if we go padding dash right. 15 pixels. That's what PX. That's what PX stands for. Pixels. Padding. Left. Again, 15 PX pixels. Now, if we. Let me think. What um. Go. That should be the end of the text bit. Yeah, that's the end of that. So we just put that and go down one and type A. IMG for an image which I, I guess you know what that means so border we don't want a border for images so type none and that's all you need to do for that bit next one is a link so like if there's if you put a link on your page it will like fully know what to do I guess that's how you describe it so a comma colon even link color nice color that goes with everything 4e 5869 text decor decoration I think that's how you spell it underline 
Now, some on, on a link, not many people like it, so it's underlined. So what you can do, you can get rid of the bit that says underlined and swap it for none. So you can swap it so it says none, but we're going to keep it with underlined. Underlined, so you know, like, yeah. Now next bit, we're going to need hover over a link. A hover. A active. A focus. And if we go down a bit, um, I think on this one we'd have something. I think let me just change this colour a minute. Right, I think I've made a problem, so I'll just pause it and come back in a minute. Right, I'm back. So, um, as you can see, this bit we done, but I've changed the colour a bit to hash four one four nine five eight, and I've added one in um, called a, a visited, which I've put the colour as four e five eight six nine, then added text decoration of underline, then I've just added the hover active and focus one. So, yeah. That's that done. The, now if we go on to down a bit more, we'll go to container, which is very different. Now you're probably wondering why is there a dot? That's because it's a div it could be used as a div tag, which we will be going on to next in the next video, so just go with it and you'll see why next video. So 80%, which means it's only for part of the page. It stays in the middle. Max width. Well, it should stay in the middle. 1,260 pixels, I'd say. Um, minimum width. 708 pixels. That's yeah, about that. Can tweak it to your own liking. Just keep it as FFF for the background. Um, margin zero and auto, which means it automatically sets it for everything except for the top. So yeah, something called overflow, which means anything that that overlaps things will get hidden so you won't be able to see it and that's the end of the container one um, I'm trying to think is there anything else that we need to add? yeah the sidebar I'm gonna add a little sidebar to the left no to the right sorry even whoops so now this again is a div tab so it would have a dot in front of it. Float right means that it will stay towards the right of the page. So then you don't have to like align it yourself, it'll just do it. Width is 20%, which means it only takes up 20% of the 80%. No, 20% of no, right, the 20% will be 20% of the body. Or no, the 20% would be the 20% tw of the 80, which would leave 60, I think, for the thing. It works out anyway. Let's go back around. 9, 3, A, 5, C, 4. See what that looks like. Padding. Bottom. 10 pixels, 10 pixels there, and that's the end of that one. Let's go to content, <coughs> dot content, padding, 10 pixels, 
width 80%, float right there shouldn't be much CSS left I don't think I'm just trying to think about what we haven't covered um, the, na the navigation bar we haven't covered so ul.nav This is list style is the same as like having a border sort of thing, but it's a bit different for navigation. Border top one pixel, one pixel solid. That will tell it that it's one pixel. It's solid, so it goes all the way through, and it's color 666. Then margin, bottom. Stop it from actually going right to the bottom of the page, which would make it look nicer. And then that's the end of that one. <coughs> now I've got something slightly different. ul.nav space li. Just slightly different, but it makes a difference. Border bottom one pixel solid hash six 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 let's just stick with that that's the end of that um this is a bit more different ul ul dot nav space a <coughs> or ul dot nav space a colon visited you have to have both on there Padding as five pixels, five pixels, five pixels, five pixel. So that'd be a padding of five pixel from the top, bottom, left, and right. Now, if we just put display block and then go down, and I've put two Ks in block. Right, um, next would be text decoration, which is none, because I don't like it. Then we'll have background, it be hash AO90 AB, because that sounds fun. Colour. Keep it at zero. That should be that one. Um, I think there's a bit left. Um, I don't know actually. Don't think. I think there's like four things left to do, and then that should be the end of the CSS. To go down on ul dot nav space a colon hover u ul dot nav a colon active colon comma ul dot nav a colon focus Let's see what we need to do for this background hash c no six even f seven d ninety four Then colour, keep it as white. Keep it there. That's the end of that one. Now we need dot FLTRT, which stands for, I think it stands for float, right? Float, right, yeah. Margin left 8 pixel now never forget the semicolon at the end otherwise it won't work dot 
stop. Now we go on to float left. But it's the exact same thing, but the other way around. So float equals left. And then instead of margin left, it'll be margin right. As eight pixels. Then that's the end of that one. Now we've got, I think it's one more. Clear, yeah, just, this is, this should be the last one. Clear both. H E height. So I was spelling it out there. Font size one pixel. Then line line height zero pixels let's just end that 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 is the end of it so type t slash style and that's that's the end of this tutorial let me just end the head tag t slash head and the next tutorial we'll get on to adding the content in the body tags in the body tag we'll start adding the content so for now just file save as <coughs> put it on your desktop on your desktop don't forget to change the save as type to from text documents to all files then type call it I'm calling it ADV underscore HTML ADV for advanced dot HTML I'll just call it that you can call it whatever you want you could call it your name or anything and then yeah that's the end of the tutorial um, in the next tutorial we'll be looking at more adding the content then making it like yeah because this tutorial is just setting it out next tutorial will be adding the content um so yeah see ya